Okay, Susan here, and I'm going to just take a couple of minutes and introduce you to EndNote. There's no way I could teach you EndNote in a couple of minutes. Uh, I use EndNote to keep track of my references and to format my references for my dissertation. Uh, if you were to go out and buy EndNote today, you would be getting EndNote X5. We will be sh I will be showing you EndNote X4. Buy is the operable word because you don't get EndNote for free from UCSD or Cal State San Marcos, and UCSD doesn't offer any courses in EndNote. I find it was worth the effort to teach myself EndNote. There are tutorials um, and videos, both uh, as part of the product on the website and independently created. Uh, I like um, a lot of the capabilities, so let me show you it real quick. Let me get rid of the help screen. This, when it opens up, this is the interface. This is my dissertation library. These are all references. I have uh, 238 references in this library, and that's what you're looking at here. However, I have, when I import the references, I have grouped them. This is all the ones I have on alternative education. These are the ones I have, the 16 I have on critical theory. These are the 68 I have on self-determination theory. And these are the nine I have right now involving narrative inquiry. So within the library, you can set up groups. One reference can be in more than one group. When you click or highlight or select a reference, you will see that right down here, it is put into APA 6th format that is set up here. You can obviously set it for other formats, but we need APA 6th edition, and that's what I have down here. If you double click on the reference, you will see the actual record. You can enter all these fields by hand, the author, the year, the title, the journal. The, what you, you know, what choices you have here is set up here by the type. Obviously, most of what we enter are journal articles. And as you scroll down here, you'll see that I have the keywords and the abstracts. That tells me I imported it directly from a research database. I'll show you how that's done in a minute. And down here, this is the actual article. I can pull it up and look at it. So EndNote keeps track of my articles, where they are, uh, and I use it in my filing system, so I don't have to remember a, a, a complicated filing system on the computer, and that's probably why I originally selected it. So let's get out of my big old research database, and let's open up a empty database. I think I set up one here. There you go. Now this is empty. How do you get them in? Well you can actually go in and add a reference and type all of that stuff in or you can if you have saved the article as a PDF on your computer you can just simply come down here and this is I really like this import a file tell it you're importing a PDF and go find it on your directory or on in your computer click on it and import it and it will import and place all the record fields in there so now you'll see that I have the record right here there's the reference format and if you double click there are the fields filled in now it doesn't fill it fills in all the necessary fields to have a reference it doesn't put in things like the abstract but it does attach the file right here I pull it up and there is the file Another way to import into this would be to be out in a research database and just simply click the export button and it will export the record directly to EndNote and bring up EndNote with the record in it. I'm okay. And it comes in. And this time when it comes in, it will have the, key, the keywords and the abstract, but it won't attach the file. And to do that, you have to actually go in and, so you have because you have to save the file, you can't pull it directly from the database, so you have to save it to your hard drive, and then you have to attach the file as, so you would just attach the file. You go find it, click on it, attach it, and then when you scroll down, it would be there. So that's basically So that's basically a quick little introduction to EndNote. Uh, uh, $115 at the UCSD bookstore. Obviously there's a lot more to it. Uh, that, that's it for now.